Hi dear Gemini, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Gemini Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 1st till the 10th of September. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Gemini. Let's see. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are... Death and rebirth, okay, okay, this was an ending, definitely, there was an ending, there was a separation. This person is feeling like this is over, this is done. Something is done here, something is completely over here. They feel like you are done with them, you are over with this situation. Let me clarify the death card, could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Let me see what's happening here. Okay, Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody walked away from you or you walked away from someone, Gemini. I don't know what happened. Now this person is feeling like having a brand new opportunity to open up with you. They feel like starting from scratch. They feel like communicating with you. They feel like taking some kind of action with you within this situation. They feel like, uh, you know, bringing back this connection to life. Bringing this connection back to life. This is what they feel. They feel like texting you and calling you and taking some kind of action towards you although it's done they feel this they feel the urge to you know restart this connection all over again it could be you could be them aries Leo, sagittarius and taurus virgo capricorn cancer pisces scorpio and scorpio let's see what you feel for this person gemini five of swords you're mentally conflicted you are holding back you are mentally very very conflicted gemini you are not sure about this person you're not sure about the situation you are like this person is uh, this situation is a headache and there's lots of ego games and uh, uh, ego battles going on between you guys you feel the love is missing and the ego is there lots of ego and stress stressful situation it is very stressful actually let me clarify the five of swords two of swords two of wands and justice you are not yeah you're not sure about you feel like having clarity but the, the truth is you are not sure about the situation Okay, you are waiting for the universe to do some kind of justice in the situation, to bring some kind of balance in your life because you are mentally very, very stressed. You are feeling on the crossroads. You are like, I don't know. I want to leave. I want to stay. I don't know. You are just waiting for the universe to intervene and do some kind of justice to bring uh, and bring some kind of karma in this connection and bring balance, bring balance back in your life. This is what you feel. About this person, you don't have love about the situation right now. You are stressed. You are conflicted. You are confused and you are waiting for the universe to intervene. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what this person wants from you, Gemini. Nine of Cups. They want happiness with you. Brand new beginning. Again, lots of, uh, you know, happiness they see with you. They want happiness, they want to grow with you, they want to expand their heart chakra, open up with you and uh, be very, very open and honest with you regarding their feelings. Let me clarify the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is what they want, happiness. Page of Wands, King of Cups, Nine of Cups, my God. Six of Cups, can I, can I, do, do I have to read anymore? This person is in love with you, deeply, deeply in love with you. They feel like you are the ultimate soulmate that they ever had in their life and they will ever have in their life in the future. This person loves you. You are their ultimate happiness and they want to start from your from scratch. And I don't think uh, this, this person is going to stop until they get you back. They are deeply, deeply in love with you, Gemini. Yes. This is someone who is kind of immature, a young energy or youngish energy or newish energy. This is a past person with newish energy coming forward with a newish energy because they love you and you are their wish fulfillment. They can't let you go, Gemini. They will never let you go. This is kind of a very truthful feeling that they have for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and uh, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, uh, sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what you want. They want happiness. They want growth. They want to restart. They want you back in their life. That is what they want. Let's see what you want from this person or from this situation or connection. Ten of Wands. You want to remove the burden. There is something that you want to reveal or there is something that you got to know about the situation. 
and this is a burden some situation for you you want to remove the burden uh, responsibilities there are hell of i feel like with this person there are hell lot of responsibilities that are coming and you are not ready for that you don't want to take the responsibility you don't want to burden yourself with unnecessary things that you are not responsible for let me clarify the terror forms you could be dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius here let's clarify the terror forms You want to share the burden, share the load, yeah. Mm -hmm. See the Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on this situation. You want to give this connection a last go, and you are very hopeful and positive about the commitment and on marriage. For some of you, you are already married, but there are things are like things are a little bit shaky right now, and you want to you know um, save this marriage. For some of you, uh, for others of you, you don't want to give up on the situation completely. Although you are giving up on the situation, but not giving up completely. You feel like uh, giving it a last shot, giving it a last go, and you are very very serious this time. And the seriousness is because you want commitment and a stable connection with this person. And you're like, I just want to remove this burden, some situation, this burden, this heaviness. from my shoulders from you know and i want to be hopeful and positive about the future of this connection this is what you want you want stability you want growth but right now this is a very burdensome situation so i feel before you want the growth and stability you want to clear the air with this person you want to share the responsibilities you want to talk about the responsibilities you want to uh, uh, unburden yourself something is bothering you in this connection and that's why you are taking a step back but you're hopeful that things are going to be fine so what do you want you want to remove this uh, burden some situation you want to come out of this uh, you know uh, heavy situation you want to feel light hearted you want to feel happy about the situation and then lead to some kind of commitment and or a marriage and a stable connection and there's something that you want to tell this person or reveal to this person but you are not doing it i don't know why you should do it so that this burden some situation will be over so you could be dealing with an aries or sagittarius and leo Yeah. Let's see what's the outcome of the situation till the 10th of September Gemini. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, an opportunity uh, to resolve issues and uh, you guys are going towards karma water. A uh, brand new opportunity is opening up. This 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 opportunity will serve the itself. You you are going to take it or not, I don't know, but there's an opportunity, there's a way to come out of the situation. one of you is deeply deeply in love with the other person and the other person is uh, feeling burdensome feeling conflicted feeling on the cross roads not able to decide it's very very tricky situation yeah queen of wands yeah i feel like there will be a uh, brand new start but there will be still energy of going back and forth see both of the king and the queen these are the king uh, of wands and the queen of wands it's kind of a match made in heaven kind of energy you both are made for each other but again there will be struggling energy between you guys you guys will be going back and forth one day you guys are very much into each other and the other day you're like no i don't want it i don't want them so there will be back and forth energy there will be a brand new beginning there will be a restart there will be a an opportunity to start this connection all over again but there will be back and forth lots of back and forth energy there will be no stability actually in this connection till the 10th of september no but yes the queen is going to meet the king finally yeah <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in and it's uh, aries leo sagittarius and taurus virgo capricorn and i will see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you